Hi everyone, my name is Eric Figueroa and in this video I'm going to talk about protein intake. So when you start doing a ketogenic diet, it's important to consume a moderate amount of protein, roughly around 20 to 25%. Why? Because excessive amount of protein converts into sugar, which ultimately spikes insulin. And when you spike insulin, it does block fat burning hormones. So the thing is that when people have fatty liver or have liver issues or insulin resistance, it can toxify the liver because it could be difficult for the liver to digest that protein. So there are people that, especially when they're older, like roughly around their 60s, 70s, or 80s, have a difficult time digesting protein. And the reason for that is because they lack that stomach acid. So the thing is, how much protein should I consume? So I recommend that when you start doing a ketogenic diet, I recommend that you start consuming three to six ounces of protein per meal. And it can vary for some people. Like for example, say like you're a bigger person, then I would recommend that you consume roughly around six to even 10 ounces of protein. So the thing is that, what's the benefit of protein? The thing with protein is that our bodies are made out of protein, you know, and our proteins are made out of amino acids, and these amino acids are required to replace body tissues, such as your muscles, collagen, hair, nails, skin, bones, and tendons. And the thing is that there are some people that consume little to even no protein. And when that happens, it can cause hair loss, it can make your bones get weaker and your muscles get weaker, and it can compromise your skin as well. The thing with protein is that protein does trigger these fat burning hormones. And what's important about that is that it also depends on the type of protein that you consume and also the quality. So that's why I recommend that you consume organic, grass fed, pasta raised, wild caught foods to, uh, to get you the maximum amount of fat burning. So what type of food do I recommend? Well, I do recommend eggs. Eggs is a great source. Also fish and seafood as well. Um, beef is okay as well as chicken and pork. J just make sure that it's a higher quality food. The thing with protein is that if you are going to consume protein with a meal, I recommend that you integrate with the fat because if you're just consuming lean protein with the vegetables without the fat, then you're going to get hungry in the next hour or so. So fat also helps to prolong your hunger. So this gives you a summary of the protein intake. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Figure Out Health. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.